All right, what's happening, fam? LA, our movement still moving. White criminals. A lot of times we talk about people who try to deflect and say black on black crime, black this, black that, black people are most violent, blah, 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 blah. And this is what I'm about to put down. America is criminal by nature, so in essence, anything that's degenerative or dysfunctional that any race of people have adapted to in America probably comes from white people. The probability is probably 99.9% .9 because that's who runs this country. So you don't you don't blame uh, workers for the mistakes of a CEO. So if somebody if if, you, if somebody's in a position of that they are in charge of things and they are a shitty person to be in charge, then the whole operation becomes shitty. That's what I'm saying. You know, the students may be bad, but the principal started it. Now the reason I'm saying that is because of this. White criminals get away with more. White criminals can be on the street. White criminals cannot be suspected. White criminals have a certain air of anonymity. And you see that even in our media and movie culture where a white guy can go around dealing drugs, doing drugs, hitting, uh, killing, killing per people, taking hits and robbing banks and they're never really portrayed as villainous at all you know they just they're entertaining because but people forget this is what people do on a regular basis like a lot of this stuff is based in reality you know art imitates life life imitates art that kind of thing excuse me but here's a, another thing you find yourself at a point when I'm black. I commit a crime. If I commit a crime against somebody in my race, I'm probably they're gonna they're gonna they definitely gonna charge me. I'm definitely going to jail. You know whether I'm guilty or not. Um, if I commit a crime against somebody of a different race, depending on which race it is, is depending on how much of the book they're gonna throw at me. So everybody's comfortable with knowing that if I do something, I'm gonna get reprimanded. There's zero tolerance even with my own and then they're gonna throw it back and say black on black crime and we're the most violent that kind of thing now with white people it's different because they get too much cover okay so what happens white person commits a crime with a black person it's automatically the assumption that mm, maybe because they were black they must have been savages and they might have had it coming and they was defending themselves you know that kind of thing and then, and then at the same token, but here's a, here's where it goes funny because white people commit crimes against white people, and white people start to realize the system is fucked up because white people won't prosecute other white people like that. You get what I'm saying? So somebody breaks into a white guy breaks into another white person's home and does some outlandish shit. He might get two years in jail, and, and a family that was victimized be like. They used to, in their mind, the, the the system working because if somebody they robbed them and did the outlandish shit look like me, they probably get 10, 15, 20 years. This person gets two years, maybe a felony, maybe a misdemeanor, some probation, but because they're white, they probably can get out of jail with a felony and get a decent paying job and live their lives. And they feel, they feel like that's not justice. The system isn't working. But that's the system that you're in. Like, it only works for uh it works for white people and against white people at the same time but they're used to seeing it in the aspect of you know we take the brunt of all the punishment so over time you got people like whoa whoa i'm watching these black people over here because they're supposed to be the most violent egregious erroneous dysfunctional people on the planet but my own people are doing all this crazy stuff and Nothing is really going to be done to them. 
And that's not rules we created. That's just the ones we live by. So ultimately, it's more hilarious to me because white criminals get, get a way to get the opportunity to plan, follow through, uh, surveillance, do recon, commit crimes, and be able to get sympathy to not have to actually pay for them in full the way they should. So are there more black quote-unquote criminals in jail? Probably. Are there more innocent black criminal, black men or women who didn't commit crimes that are in jail that are looked upon as criminals? Probably. Are there white people in jail? Definitely. But are there many white people who should be in jail that are walking free right now that are committing other crimes? Absolutely. So it's more white people out on the street committing cr who are criminals and committing crimes than there are of anybody else. But who's going to look at them as criminals? Who's going to arrest them? Who's going to stereotype them? They're just decent people, right? Just all American boys and girls. I'm out.